Hi everybody! I am going to be putting resin on these pieces today. I have a ton of paintings I need to put resin on, um, including those ones that I've shown you um, that I put the wrong mixture of resin um, because I thought I could guesstimate, which I knew I couldn't. Um, so it never dried uh, rock solid. You can still put like a fingernail dent in it. So I need to re-resin that, which is the beauty of resin because, and if you're new to resin, you'll hear, oh my gosh, I gotta put a third coat of resin on. Yeah, resin can be difficult and a pain in the butt. Um, but the nice thing about resin is that you can sand it and put a new coat on and it's like your mistake never happened. Um, uh, hang on, I gotta see. The camera's to the side of me, so I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so these are brand new bottles. Art resin. And this is the hardener. And then, so it's a two-part 50-50 mix. This is the resin. Um, Art Resin is a brand I like and it has free shipping. Um, I was using Stone Coat um, Art Resin uh, because they used to have a really good um, discount code, but uh, they're not doing that particular code anymore, so um, I'm sticking back to the Art Resin. But um, they were pretty interchangeable as far as, yeah, I just made a mess. As far as quality goes, I found, okay, I gotta put new gloves on, those are nasty. As far as quality goes, I found them pretty interchangeable. Um, actually, the stone coat always seemed a little bit easier to clean up the back with. Um, then, and it seemed a little bit, kind of harder, thicker than the art resin, but when I see two pieces of mine next to each other, one with one and one on the other, they look identical, so. Um, and what I'm going to do, unless you are really good at measuring, don't try, but on something this size, it's hard to make a mistake because I don't have a lot of room to make a mistake. So this is just a measuring cut from the dollar store um, because sometimes some people are able to pull it clean out and reuse it. I have never been able to do that. Um, and I've tried silicone and plastic. So 16 ounces, so eight ounces of, that just doesn't even look right though. Hang on. Yeah, I suppose. It really doesn't though. I think it needs to go to the top. Hang on folks. Just one minute. I don't think this is quite right. Be right back. Hey, I'm back. Okay. There we go. I, you don't know how long it's been, but it was actually, I went upstairs and measured this and then started talking to my husband about graduation parties and stuff. And it really is just a mind trick because this is a cylinder. So anywho, um, I am going to, and you got make sure that you know which you have poured and which you have not because they look the same. Their thickness is different, but so I'm going to pour to here with the resin and then to here with the hardener. Um, as I said, if you're not sure, um, have three cups. So have however much you're mixing. Have an eight ounce, eight ounce of hardener, eight ounce of resin, and pour it into that third cup. Um, you don't want to pour one directly into the other. Um, because it can stick to the sides, and so the amounts, again, may not be the same. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I've got to hold it up to eye level. 
Um, art resin is also way, way, way easier to stir than the countertop brand, or stone coat, I mean. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put the lid on that and then go to the next. And I know I've, I've got a lot of people who commented, you know, they have mobility issues. Um, so if you fall into that category um, and you're trying to decide which resin to buy, go with the art resin. Um, and there is a, here, I'm going to start stirring as I talk because you got to stir for a couple minutes. There is a, yikes, it's so close to the top. There is a calculator on Art Resin's site. Um, you can tell how it is effortless for me to stir through this. The stone coat, um, there is a lot more resistance. But I forgot. Oh, yeah, there's a resin calculator um, has you type in, you know, length, width, etc. height. Um, I am guesstimating this because I'm going to, after I turn you off, I have a whole bunch of stuff I need to resin. So if I have too much, um, I'll just make more. Or I'll just pour on one of those, but... So, and I don't always, I, well, <laughs> you guys know me, I don't, I don't measure, so I always eyeball the amount, but I've done so many pieces, now. I've done so much resin now, I can guesstimate how far, um, you know, 8 ounces will go, or 12, or what have you, and so, yeah. I'm hoping that this can clean out, like pulp, that it'll all scrape out, but I doubt it. But I need to go to the dollar store anyways, so I'll pick up more of these. And I maybe resin twice a month. Well, I haven't resin. No, well, I haven't resin in a while, but generally like twice a month. So even if I'm throwing these away, it I means not great for the environment, but it's only like two bucks a month so and I've also used they've got their um, like rubber mate like the things you store your food in um, Tupperware or whatever that has the measurements on the side and those usually come in a two pack and those are awesome when I when they have those in stock because those they have I think they're 24 ounce or 26 ounce so those are awesome. And I have a picture for when I have big stuff to resin. So I, I am just going one way and then the other, one way or another. So, so while I got you here as I'm stirring and you'll start seeing more bubbles and sometimes little things will fly into the air and then you know that it has been mixed. Um, for concerns with resin, um, health concerns, art resin um, is pretty, I mean, it's safe, considered safe even in California. So it is, so I don't wear a mask with it. Um, it's got non, no VOCs. No BPA, but it does say, what does it? There is an exclamation. Warning, irritant. So may cause skin eye irritation or allergic reaction. Um, I have never had a reaction to resin. Um, so I feel like when I was using the countertop resin when I did my parents' table, if I was working with that particular um, kind of resin, I would definitely be wearing a respirator. Um, because not only does it smell bad, it is bad. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that every day. Oh 
almost done. And if you want to see how these paintings were made, I don't think I have the numbers on the back though. But in the video description, there's paint mixing playlists. That's my number one question asked. Is how do I mix my paint? And do I mix my white the same thickness as the others? And the answer is yes. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes. Yeah. And you do need a torch for resin or some kind of... I've never used a heat gun. It might work. And I've got four different um, substrates. This is MDF. Um, it's got the beveled sides. Uh, this is also MDF, but a lot thinner. These are little coasters, and this is canvas. This I'm going to probably need two coats of at least because it on canvas it sinks, and then you'll have bare edges. So I'll have to do two. Hopefully I won't have to do two on any of the others. So I'm just going to... And then while I'm working, oh yay, I'm gonna have, definitely have enough for the, and I'll let these sit here, and it is, resin is self-leveling. So while I am working on these, the resin on the others can start moving. All right. It is sticky. Oh, and I double glove. I have two gloves under here. And then there are tools. There's little like plastic um, kind of grooved scrapers. I have never used one. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've used this brand. I forgot how easy it is to move around. Stone coat's so much thicker. So maybe that's why I think, you know, maybe that's why the, the it peels off differently on the back because it is, they, they definitely have a different feel. This one is much easier to work with. There is an odor with this, but it's not bad. Like house paint smells worse than this. Alrighty. Oh, I'm not wearing my hairnet. Normally I wear a hairnet. Um, because you never know, your hair just falls out. Unfortunately, I forgot that. Which is... So I will hopefully not shed. Um, just... I'm going to need a little bit more on that one. And I taped up the back. Otherwise, I would not be pouring so freely on that. Um, as far as heat safe, the stuff will be fine for coffee mugs and stuff. And it won't stick. Oops, a little bit more on there. Um, canvas is my least um, enjoyable thing to resin. This is so light, it keeps moving on me.
And with this, since I know I'm already going to need to do another coat, um, I mean, obviously I want this coat to turn out flawless, but it's not earth shattering if it doesn't. And as I said, since resin is forgiving, you know, as far as you can put more coats on, um, trying to think this is a gallon what I have so and I can't I think it's a hundred and nineteen dollars maybe just want to be sure that I got these sides So I'm going to take off the first gloves. Then I torch all the air bubbles out. This is, hang on, one of, this is your most important. You have to, have to, have to do this. Or else the air bubbles you'll have, they will dry on there. Hang on, I just ruined my... Hold on, I just gotta grab another skewer. And you can watch, see them actually popping. Don't get too close to it or you will burn it. Getting how powerful that is since it's brand new. And I just have this. Oh my god, I just. Okay, I'm glad I didn't cuss because I think you guys all heard what was going to come out of <laughs> that side of my. Don't, I don't remember. Oh, uh, this is, it says Coast on it. I'm not sure what brand, but Energizer Duracell, something. So I am literally hovering over, which is why that hairnet is a good idea. Okay, so then, so I didn't see anything. And now I go without, because I can see the glare. And these look pretty good. I will do another torch on them. So you're looking for anything dust, Anything that um, doesn't belong there. Okay. Sometimes it's in it's the paint that you're but like right there is something. Ugh, the, the copper and gold are gonna be so pretty in this. Has way too many air bubbles to even. Oh, I've got them all. First, do this. on here. 
the largest air bubbles. That's not though. Very tedious. I mean, it's impossible. You have dust floating. I mean, there's always dust in the air. Some little things. But it makes me feel better. Like, I've been to fine art shows and seen resin work. That is, um, that I wouldn't like ever sell if it were my own. Now, I'm not, I'm just saying I am such a freak when it comes to resin. Um, but what that means is that uh, people are not as, um, you know, concerned as I am, you know? So if there is a little flaw, it will not ruin painting. What are these things? I are bear bubbles. They're weird looking ones. Yeah, those are just air bubbles. Alright, so now I am going over it just using the reflection. I'm going to appear up. little thingies. All right, so then what I do to protect it from anything else getting in it is this is my washing machine pan. And I am just going, oh, I'm gonna go too bad. make sure that it was deep enough actually and then 24 hours later I will take another look at it um, it will be dry and I'll peel the tape off and they will be all finished so I hope this was helpful and I will catch you next time bye